Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the video and if you've been a longtime subscriber, thanks for tuning back in. Today I'm going to be going over and giving my honest take and review on a set of uh, fishing boots I got from a company called Kyle Kyle. Uh, they reached out to me this summer uh, in regards to my YouTube channel, my outdoor just activity and they kind of thought that uh, their footwear would be kind of uh, right up my alley and uh, I kind of told them they had re recommended a deck boot at first and after going back and forth I kind of told them hey you know it's getting ready to be winter here in Kentucky not really going to be using a deck boot um, mainly going to be bank fishing fishing from a boat fishing from a kayak and I need something that's going to keep my feet warm so they sent me a, uh, a set of neoprene mid-calf waterproof boots uh, to try out and I gotta be honest with you after owning these boots for over three months now um, I'm very very surprised and I want to kind of go ahead and jump right into the features What I think how they look how they performed and what they can do for you stay tuned So right off the bat, I, I, I love their logo um, that it's kind of like a deer or elk head um, and on, on their box they've got all their uh, all their, all their labels there, their logos for uh, social media. You can check them out on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Um, now, the, the shipping company, <laughs> whoever gave this box, like delivered this box, did me no justice. They destroyed my box. But that didn't stop me from being very, very uh, pleasantly surprised with uh, what was inside the box. Now, as soon as you open up the box, the first thing you're going to notice is that these boots are attractive. They're very sleek looking. Um, you can tell by the heft and by the uh, by just the material that these are quality made boots. Um, love the tread. The the tread on the bottom. It's kind of multi directional and it's kind of made out of uh, a little bit of different material, so you get the best of both worlds. Uh, kind of keeps you from slick, slipping on uh, you know dry to moderately wet rocks. Now you're not going to be staying on these things on moss covered rocks, but uh, Nothing but metal cleats is going to be doing that anyways if you're fishing like Cape Cod. But very good looking boots. Now I did do some reading, it, reading in on their uh, on their company there and they do try to use environmentally friendly products when they produce these boots. Lots and lots of room in the toe box there. Now I wear a size 10 and they're uh, very true to size. Um, they definitely slip on and off uh, like a breeze. Uh, and they aren't very tight at all. Like there's plenty of room because I layer up in the winter time with my my clothing. There's plenty of room uh, for you know long john bottoms, thermal bottoms, blue jeans, and a, and a wet weather top to slip down in these boots. But you can kind of just see that these were designed with an outdoorsman or a fisherman in mind, just with how rugged they look from the get go. And it's not just looks, folks. Um, they are very, very rugged boots. I've, uh, I've put these things through the paces. Uh, I've used these things around the yard, uh, working, and I've, my yard this time of year does carry some water. Uh, my boots stay very, or my feet stay very warm um, and dry. There's zero problem with that. These are definitely a, a, a boot you can wear to play in or work in. It'd be it you doing uh, whether you're working in firewood, whether you're working uh, standing out on a riverbank fishing, or whether you're just using them to run from the front door to go get groceries, uh, you definitely will not be um, let down with these boots. Now, I will say one of the main features I love of these boots is that they have not like they are wear resistant. Um, a lot of boots that I've worn of this this particular nature, as soon as you get them wet. Um, and then they dry off and then you kind of switch from hot to uh, cold climates uh, as is the you know the norm here in Kentucky especially in the fall and spring they tend to uh, dry rot and crack these have not done that yet uh, I've actually taken pretty good care of these boots too I've, I've uh, I, I try to wipe them off and brush them off after I'm done because I, I'm actually really fond of these boots I like them I'm proud of these boots but uh, they still wear and feel like uh, the first day I took them out of the package. Um, so I gotta be honest with you, the, the wear resistance of these boots is one of their prime features. Um, and they're actually really light. For as warm as they are, they're, they're pretty light. Um, I've stood in water, uh, probably 48 degrees is the coldest water I've stood in so far, and they are not 
Uh, my feet didn't even feel it. Um, I think they're rated from like negative four Fahrenheit to 50 Fahrenheit to, for like a comfort range. Um, and they're 100% every bit um, wearable in those ranges. Another, uh, another feature I love about these boots, in addition to them not being too tight on your calf, is the little lug on the bottom helps with uh, taking these boots off. Um, now I've, you know, in this video I've got one arm and you can kind of tell that uh, I'm not really having to use much uh, effort at all besides tucking my shoe or tucking my pants into the boot to put these boots on. They are just a breeze to take on and take off and I love that about them. Now if you're uh, looking for where you can find these boots, uh, you can check out uh, www.kalkal-online.com kalkal-online.com uh, to find out you know their whole lineup or you can go on social media and look for the hashtag cowcowboots uh, that way you can check out everything they have on social media if you like to go that route with it. Uh, the price point for the boots that I'm currently wearing it just depends on the, the cut uh, you know the length and the cut uh, and, the, and the, the neoprene you get on them but you're looking at 50 to 80 bucks and these things are amazing to wear. Um, I definitely would uh, recommend going and checking them out online. They've helped me put uh, lots of fish on the bank, in the boat, and in the kayak and I look forward to working with the company and uh, wearing these their footwear uh, for as long as I fish. So, so anyways, if you like this video, uh, make sure you click that uh, like button down below. And if you like outdoors content, uh, mainly fishing con content, make sure you uh, click the subscribe button and stay tuned because uh, that's pretty much all I do uh, outside of uh, the Army and uh, home life. So. Um, very happy that I could get this uh, product review, review out to you all. Again, let me know in the comments what you think. And until then, we'll see you in the next video.